Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making lobster bisque. Rich, decadent, and satisfying, this recipe will capture eyes as well as stomachs. This lobster bisque is five stars. Try it and find out yourself. So, let's get started. To start this recipe, we're gonna prepare all the vegetables we need for it. Starting off, we're gonna need one large white onion that all you need to do for this is remove the outer peel, cut off the root and the stem, and quarter this onion. Next up, we're gonna need one large celery stalk and we're gonna coarsely chop that along its length. Then you're gonna need one carrot that you're gonna to have to peel and slice down the length as well. Next, we need one head of garlic that you're gonna slice width-wise, and if the outer peel is loose, you can go ahead and remove that as well. And finally, you need one tomato that you're gonna slice into eight pieces. And to really help that onion flavor come through in the recipe, we're gonna separate each of those layers prior to adding them to the pot. Now, you wanna bring a large pot of water to boil. And once that water is boiling, we wanna add three small lobster tails into the water and boil those until they become bright red and cook through. And this should take approximately five minutes. Once they're cooked, you wanna transfer the lobsters into a large bowl and reserve two cups of the cooking liquid, saving as much loose lobster meat within that liquid. Cool the lobster tails under running cold water and then you wanna crack the tails open and remove the lobster meat. And you wanna reserve any juices that fall from the lobster in the bowl for later use. Once the lobster meat's been removed, transfer that to a cutting slab and place them under a cold damp paper towel until we're ready to cut them. And then you also wanna coarsely chop the lobster shells. We'll be creating our own lobster stock and these shells are really important to making that taste delicious. Now in a large pot set over medium high heat or 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius, we wanna add two tablespoons of olive oil as well as our chopped up lobster shells. Cook the shells at this heat until they've darkened, which should take about five minutes. This really brings out that inner flavor of the shell. After those five minutes, we wanna add in our onions, celery, carrots, the garlic, the tomato, as well as three small bay leaves, two teaspoons of dried or fresh tarragon, and six to eight sprigs of thyme. We're also gonna add in half a cup of sherry wine, as well as half a cup of your favorite type of brandy. Stir all these ingredients together until they're well dispersed. And then you also wanna add in half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Adding the sherry wine and brandy into this bisque creates a delicious complexity to your bisque. You always wanna choose a good quality dry sherry wine and brandy and add it in towards the beginning of your cooking process. Continue to stir all these ingredients together as you bring them to a boil until most of the liquid has evaporated and that should take about five minutes. And once you're at that stage, now you wanna add in those reserved two cups of the cooking liquid from the lobster, as well as one cup of bottled clam juice. And if you had some reserved lobster juices from the shells, you wanna add that into the pot as well. Cook all these combined ingredients together at medium high heat or 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes, stirring the pot ever so often. And once that cooking time is up, we wanna strain this soup through a fine mesh sieve over a colander, which is sitting on top of a large bowl or saucepan. And you wanna press the ingredients in the fine mesh sieve to release all that trapped liquid. And the base of your bisque should look something like this. You wanna add this base back into the large pot and whisk in half 
to three fourths of a cup of tomato paste, whisking this until the base and the tomato paste are well combined. We want to simmer this soup over low heat or 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius, simmering this for 15 minutes. At this point, your bisque should have this bright, vibrant red color, and you want to add in half a cup of heavy whipping cream to the pot, stir that in, and then simmer this for five more minutes. Incorporating heavy cream into this dish gives your bisque a rich and luxurious texture. And now in a separate small cup, you want to dissolve one tablespoon of cornstarch into one tablespoon of water. This is our thickening agent for the bisque, and we want to add this mixture to the soup. Stir this into the pot and allow this cornstarch mixture to cook into the bisque until it's slightly thickened, which should take only about two minutes. After that, you want to taste test and season with additional salt and a thin sprinkling of black pepper to your own personal taste. We want to coarsely chop the lobster meat. I like having large chunks for my bisque, so you don't want to go too thin when you're slicing. But the star of the dish is the bisque itself, and the lobster meat is really the cherry on top. Mix in the chopped lobster meat into the bisque and stir this until the lobster meat has been heated through. Transfer the bisque into a bowl, and I like garnishing this with some chopped chives. This recipe makes enough for four servings, and with that, this delicious meal is ready to be enjoyed. Congrats, you just made a five-star quality restaurant dish. This lobster bisque is amazing. Every spoonful is heaven. Making lobster bisque is a labor of love, so why not share the love with friends and family? Invite them over for a special dinner, or send them home with a jar of homemade bisque. Sharing your culinary creations can be a truly rewarding experience. And when you do try this recipe at home yourselves, be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine or hashtag Chef Vic Cuisine so I can see your great takes on this dish. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 3, Upgrading Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. And feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button for me. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Victor, and welcome to Chef Vic Cuisine. I like to share delicious recipes each and every week that you can make for yourself, your family, or your friends. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button too. And sharing is caring, so if you enjoyed this recipe and think someone else will too, feel free to share this with all your family and friends. And stay tuned for next week where I show you how to make this really eye-catching and tasty way to use bacon, my bacon-wrapped potato roses. If you've never heard of this before, be sure to check out that recipe next week. Well, thank you all so much again for watching. You are the best. I appreciate all the support. You can always check out more recipes on my page now. YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so let's see if they're right. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.